If you're new to the project, a big warm welcome. If you're a tough old root, then welcome back. Right here on the Steep in the Woods review table, we have a 2,000 watt power station produced by All Powers. And today, we're going to be putting it to the test. When you purchase this power station, you have the option to get one of their mobile solar panels. And I can tell you, if you choose to get it, the thing is massive. So you actually get something for your money. We've been actively using this power station for one month and its primary job has been running the incubator with which we're hatching our quail. So I can tell you that it has done an incredible job with it. That's not a large draw, but it does have a heating element in it. So it is, I mean, it, it, it's more than nothing, right? You're not charging a phone. This is an actual, it's keeping the incubator at the correct temperature. And I will tell you, it has done awesome. Uh, it will run it for several, several days and you get quail out of it. Here on the off-grid, steep in the woods homestead, uh, we are pretty much having to carve our entire gardening area out of solid rock. Unsurprisingly, uh, that little tiller of ours broke because it was carving a garden out of solid rock. So we had to fix it in the woods, utilizing this all powers 2000 watt power station. Well, we have broken our tiller. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised it's lasted as long as it has. This is an incredibly tough tiller right here. It's an old wizard and it's done really, really well. However, we have experienced a breakage uh, and it's the first time I've ever seen this happen. Uh, we have snapped the entire tine mountain plate off of this tiller. And we're just gonna have to try to weld it back on here in the woods. Looking all right. I'm no professional welder, but this little power box is powering this dang welder. So we're gonna do the best that we can. I'm gonna put a few more tack welds on the back side.
Even after all that welding, the box is still reading 100%, which seems incredible to me. I was expecting it to at least be on 80, but it's not. May not be a professional welder, but the thing is now reattached. If for some reason you want to go with a more traditional solar setup and you don't want an all-in-one box, I would strongly encourage you to check out Power Queen. My experience with the company and my experience with the products has all been favorable. You can check them out here. Uh, and definitely, yes, I would, I would uh, give them a, a strong look if you're in the market shopping for these type items. And there you have it. Uh, apparently, this is how you weld your tiller together in the middle of nowhere on the side of a mountain. Uh, I was really impressed that it worked. I mean, I knew the math. I knew it was supposed to work. But this box is only slightly bigger than the welder. So I guess not only do you have all the other options of, that this box presents, but you can also run a small uh, wire feed welder. So either way, if you're looking to purchase one of these, click here. Um, and if you like what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the project, hit that other button. Help support the project, there are links below. If you'd like a private consultation or you have a question you'd want a dedicated video on, email us directly. Until next time, Steve in the Woods.